today, first grade, we are going to be working on adding in any order. So we're going to be in this first cloud. George sees seven blue birds. So what should we do first? Color seven. And eight red birds. What should we do next? Color eight red birds. How many birds does he see? So I know that we are adding because George sees some birds and then he sees more birds. I have a key word in there and it's asking me how many he sees all together. I want the whole thing. So So, now that I've colored my picture to help me with this problem, can my picture help me with my number sentence? Yeah. Yes, it can. Who knows what number we should write first for our number sentence? 15. What number we should write 15 first? Seven. Seven. We should write seven first because we colored seven blue. So please write seven on the first line with your pencil. Then what number should I write? Eight. You are exactly right. Eight. So the next one should be the next add in should be eight because he colored eight because he saw eight red birds. Okay? So, raise your hand if you know what seven plus eight equals. Remember, we need to ask ourselves, does this make sense? If I have 7 plus 8, so I have 7, and I add more, do I still have the number 7? No, that doesn't make sense. If I have a number and I get more to it, I don't have that same number. What is 7 plus 8? 15. You are right. It is 15. So please write 15 on the sum line. 7 plus 8 equals 15. Okay, first grade, remember yesterday we talked about the add-ins. This is an addend, and this is an addend. Why is this not an addend? Because it has the equal sign. It has this after the equal sign. What is it called? It's the sun. It's the sun. You are exactly right. So these two are my addends. Okay? Can I switch my addends around? Yes. Sure, I can. Absolutely. When I am adding, I can switch my add-ins around. I can do that. Yes. So, what add-in should I write first? Eight. Eight. Because if I'm switching them around, I should write eight first. So please write eight in your first add-in. Can I write eight again? No, no so I have seven. to write seven. Why? Because I'm just switching. Because I'm just switching them around, right? So I have to write seven next. All I did was change those two addends. Okay. Now for three, this is what I want you to learn from switching addends. 
If you know 7 plus 8 equals 15, do you know what 8 plus 7 equals? 15. According to the case, you are not shouting out. Good. Every single person in here knows what 8 plus 7 equals. Okay, because they saw it before. So first grade, you need to remember that when you see addition sentences, you need to remember it because you might see it again. Are they a little bit different? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. But if you know what 7 plus 8 is, then you should know what 8 plus 7 is. Seven is. Raise your hand if you know what eight plus seven equals. What is it, first grade? Fifteen. You are exactly right. Fifteen is the sum. Now, mathematicians, what should we probably do to check ourselves? What should we probably do to check ourselves? We should probably draw a picture just to make sure, right? To check ourselves so it makes sense, right? So what should we color first? A red. Let's do that. Then what should we do? Seven blue. You guys are right. So, no matter which way we did it, neither one of these is wrong. It still shows us that George saw seven bluebirds and eight redbirds. So I could have done it either way. So if I did it this way, but my partner did it this way, is one of us wrong? No, we could have done it either way. It's okay. So when we add, we can change the order of the add-ins, right? That's a good, easy way to figure it out. Okay, it's, we still come up with the same sum. Okay? Very good. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to practice changing those add-ins.